All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Riff and Top Lane. Um, but in this game today, we're going to be playing with the Korean meta runes. And in case you haven't really been following what's happening recently, um, there are a lot of top laners right now where um, you could basically run absolute focus with Scorch, right? And the idea is, is that any kind of champion, whether it's weak or strong, you pick this setup and you become very strong during laning phase. So, I'll showcase you. Now we're currently facing off Rivet against Zed. It's a pretty, uh, you know, doable matchup. It's actually one of my favorite matchups. Because it's very straightforward. I'll show you. So yeah, firstly, we're just going to be playing it safe in level 1-2. Usually, I don't really like to play aggressive against Set until I have my three abilities. So we're chilling. We're going to be freezing this wave whenever we get the chance. Just going to go for the Rifter. I'll take my E right here just to be safe for now. Because if I go for W, I could still trade him, but it definitely wouldn't be worth because he could turn again. Okay. So now the laning phase actually begins, right? Let me showcase you. So the way how trading works is you're going to try to burst him through short trades. And each time that his E is on cooldown and you use your trade, you go back in. And then you go for the all-in. And there you go. Got him. So, li like I said, um, once he uses his E and you went for a trade, um, he becomes very, very weak, right? This is the point where you want to trade him. And in case he uses W as well, you can literally all-in and you can win for free. we go let's go back so now we're gonna buy um i think for this game i think i'm just gonna go for gore drinker just go for the classic setup um i'm definitely going for two long swords for now um what if he never used e though well um in case that said might not use his e um which there's a lot of set players who do uh you keep focusing on short trade you all in when he becomes low on HP or when he uses E. Um, if he holds his E and he doesn't use it, you just go for short trades until you win. So, I'll show you again. Uh, their jungle is currently in falling. It's a trundle in the jungle. Oh, my bad. It's going to use W there, sure. So now he used that. We're going to be playing a little bit more aggressive now. So yeah, each time he's going to... Okay, decent. I can kill him right here in like 5 seconds. Not the best raid in the world because he has the potential to kill me right now because I took it a little bit too far. But I'll see if I can get the pressure on him. Okay. Um, our objective is to get level 6 before he does. So hopefully we can succeed with this. It's okay if we drop like a little bit of farm to make it happen. We can also decide to reset because we made a mistake here. Yeah, I'm going to go for a reset. I could take the risk, go for a short trade in a hope that I can perform it well without him, you know, popping E on me, but... I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to reset real quick. I'd much rather reset and then do it again and do it, doing the trade in a perfect way rather than putting myself at risk, potentially dying. So, it's not worth it. All right, here we go. I want you guys to realize that more often, man. If you make a tiny mistake, it happens, you know? Just don't put yourself at risk too much. Especially in matchups like this. 
So now gonna play it safe. Slowly. Once again, this is a good matchup for Riffin. I'm not really worried. So it's gonna come. There we go. Wait a second. Alright, here we go. So he's gonna come back with I think a steel caps maybe. What conflict oh he went for Bremble, okay. Well that's fine too. He's gonna E here. He's using W. Not smart from him. And we got him. You see? So um let me just recap that a little bit more. Um, if Set is going to use E, you go for the trade. He doesn't have uh, he doesn't have CC anymore, so it's going to be a free trade. Um, if Set uses W, you straight up all in. There's no way for him to win against you because the W is like the main source of damage, right? So uh, quick questions: uh, Max E in this matchup? Um, no, you don't have to. Not really. I mean, you could if you like, but you don't really have to. For me personally, if I play against Set, I always max my W after Q. Always. There's only a few, like, matchups in the game where, um, where I max my E, uh, secondary, um, uh, which is the Trinomir matchup, for example. Like, that matchup is a exception. For obvious reasons. And uh, maybe a few like Olaf would be another one. Um, no, let's try. Block that. His W doesn't really do much damage if he casts it like when he when I only do like a tiny trade. So we still win those trades pretty hard. So yeah, Set has to move up right now. It's going to be harder and harder for him now. Because each time I trade, it's going to do pretty uh, insane damage now. He's going to try to W here. We block that by shielding away. Now we move up again. You can probably burst him when he walks in. Okay. He doesn't really fall for it that much. Let's try. I'll see if I can roam down to mid lane. Oh, mid lane's actually dying. Okay. Choose your own path. Um, wait a second. I could technically trade him, but it's very hard to do, so I'm just gonna third queue him, get the bone plate out. So here we are, once again, still pushing the wave. It's going to do zone repeat. We haven't really been ganked by Chondo so far, and to be really honest with you, I don't really mind being ganked by Chondo, because I think if he walks in, I think I'm going to 1v2 them anyway. So I'm not too worried. All we have to do is ward properly. Like, Chondo is one of those jams, it does EU, but... It doesn't necessarily, like, do much against you. Like, it actually needs to reach out to you to do something. We've got, like, um, a 10 CS lead so far. Not that much, actually. Alright. So, yeah, Trauma could be here again. Don't be too surprised. That's what most people do. Yep. Like I thought. He's his ultimate? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Why is he using his ultimate? Like, Trundle's ultimate is such a good ultimate, to be honest. Um, but not the way how he actually used it. 
Like, Trundle ultimate should be used to block damage and not used to, like, chase people down. You know, it doesn't really do much then. You know, it does a little bit of damage, but that's it at most. Don't know why he used ultimate like that. I like, I play Trundle quite a bit myself, actually. It's It's been a champ that I used a lot for making like videos on, you know. I never use my ultimate as Trundle to all, all in with if the guy doesn't turn and if the E doesn't work that well. <laughs> all right, let's go for this one. Um, I think I'm gonna sell my two pots and we're just gonna go for this one right away. You guys saying AP Trundle? Well, <laughs> this is not an AP Trundle, man. It's a it's a team at Page Trundle. It's gonna go for Define, I think. I don't know. But yeah, if it was an AP Trundle, it would make like sense, I guess. Well, I don't know actually. Is Trundle like ultimate AP scaling? I don't know actually. I've never looked at the scaling from Trundle's ultimate. Because if I be I believe it's AD, you guys are saying it, it is AP? Okay. <laughs> AP Trundle. So there's a massive fight in bot lane. Look at that. I wish I had TP. But even if I had TP right now, like it wouldn't even be able to use it. Nice. There's always one thing I just say it again and again. If you play against Set, you should never, never ever like position yourself towards the tower of Set. Because uh, most Set players are going to use the ultimate to kick themselves back to the tower. So if you're like a smart person, try to like follow Set with the movement he's trying to do. So he doesn't actually... Uh, a second so he can't actually kick himself back into the tower <clears throat> uh, let's go back all right so next item we're gonna go for um is going to be a Ghost Blade, and then I guess after a Ghost Blade, I think I might go for Grudge to maximize my damage. I think that's what I'll probably do. Alright, let's go back top side. So yeah, we're just going to do the same tactic now. We're just going to be pushing top all day, and then each time we have the wave being pushed in. Uh, we're going to take jungle camps, we're going to go for roams, stuff like that. Nice, let's go for this camp here. Choose your own path. Awesome, let's go for wolves. I'm personally thinking about going for a flank at mid lane, uh, to be honest. But Seth's currently down there, I'm just going to push this next wave in. There we go. They're going for Drake. I got my flash coming in like 35. It's kind of my mistake though. I should have been at Drake a little bit sooner. So that's definitely on me here. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, but at least we got something in return for it. Because we were pushing the wave down into the tower. And Seth's been losing all of that stuff. So it's not that bad. But I mean, I'm not going to lie here. I should have been at Drake. <laughs> when I saw that fight right there. Like when I was standing here. And they were fighting at the bush here. If I flanked them at that moment. And I walked down there, I would have actually got like several kills probably. Okay. Got you. 
Ooh, smart. Ooh, clean from any. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so let's go for this stuff. Um, I think for this game, I might even go for Mercs because they have an Annie with like lots of CC. Well, it's only Annie though. Hmm. All right, let's go for this. Let's go back to upset. This set's been roaming all day. I think what I might do instead of going topside is maybe just going ball lane and just chilling out there, taking some kills. Um, we are definitely much, much, much stronger than the enemy team right now. So I think we can probably just 1v2 here or 1v3 maybe. Wait, I need my ultimate. Okay. Oh, serious? <laughs> if I um, if I only dashed like to the brush, I think it could have probably killed Set right there. Ooh, he didn't know. Oh. Oh, he misses all cues. I think I can probably kill him. Learn from your mistakes. Ah, he's E flashing away straight up, man. <laughs> it actually nearly worked out. Oh, I, I'm still getting him in the end. Always amazes me how they have vision on where I'm standing and yet we're still killing them at the end of the day. Nice, we get this camp here. We get rep off as well. And let's get this camp here. We can, um, after we take this camp, we can go back and get my ghost blank. That's awesome. Maybe we can do like a clean up here, because I think they will probably pass through. We're lucky we could kill someone here. They definitely don't have vision. Gotcha. So Trundle's going back to me. Can take one more wave and then we go back after. There's Adi here, but we should really be trying. Yeah, there's still vision down there. All right, let's go back. We're going to go for Ghost Blade now. And uh, we're also going to go for Lucidity Boots. My next item will be a Grudge, because we're going to be maximizing damage. Wow, clean. <laughs> clean. I love when Lee Sin players do that one. Kind of, um, this might surprise you, but it kind of reminds me of myself back in the day. Um, in case you guys wonder, like, what champion I used to main back in the day. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are curious. Um, in Season 1, I was a, uh, a Gangplank main. And I also was a Nocturne main when he got released. And um, at some point with Lee Sin, I remember buying Lee Sin back in those days. And I was absolutely addicted to Lee Sin. 
I, I was a, I was literally a lease in one trick as soon as I bought him. I remember, and like around season uh, at the end of like season two. That's where uh, the uh, the addiction came in of Riffin. <laughs> I remember buying Riffin, playing her like a couple times, but the true addiction came like like around end season two, roughly. Maybe like halfway season two or end season two. See, I, I was like uh, at heart, I was like a uh, I was a true Lee Sin one trick for <laughs> quite a little while. So yeah, I, I got some. Uh, uh, Lee Sin's resting in a in a in a in a well place. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's take this camp here. Oh man, just talking about like back in the day just changes like the perspective of uh, or, or just just leak in general. If I think about season one leak, I think about um, specifically around season two is where. Well, season one I was already addicted to this game, but like season two is like the um, my absolute favorite season of everything. Like I I remember like the days I was actually a Twisted Tree Line player back in the day, like the old Twisted Tree Line. So I'm not talking about like season uh, season four, five, six up to season ten. Because the map is totally different. I'm talking about like the Twisted Tree Line from like season 1 to... I think up to season 3. I don't know anymore. Yeah, I love those days, man. I love talking about it too, actually. Wish it could return. So that's a massive fight in the jungle here. Wait a second. Oh, we can do some cleanup here. This is gonna be great. Okay. Well, we could probably still get some more. I think I'm probably dead, actually. Or, actually, I'm not. Okay, good. I could probably try and kill him, but I need my team here with me to make it happen. <laughs> I love how my team is actually moving up with me. Because <laughs> it's such a risky move, actually. <laughs> Let's go back. So we got Grutch. Uh, next item will be a stopwatch into a Guardian's Angel because we need some survivability. I'll take this plant here. We'll see if we can kill Trundle. Seems to me like they are all just ARAM <laughs> currently in mid right now. None of them are split pushing anymore, so I'm just gonna take the. Um, I'm just gonna start splitting. Uh, Trundle's on the jungle there. There's also Annie, so I think they're all all being grouped up. Take this one. We could, in theory, like, maybe flank them on the back, probably get some kills, but it really depends on, yeah, like, on how well warded this is. Pretty sure they all know I'm standing here currently. Yeah. Okay, you're feeling pretty confident about killing me right there, man. Gotcha. 
Let's go back to mid. Let's take some towers. They're all dead for like 10 seconds, so we can definitely get the whole tower do uh, done for. Uh, my team can also go for Baron right now, so... Wait. Uh, three of them are spawned, so. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Oh. Wow, she does like no damage, but. <laughs> Wait, she did like no damage. Like, her ultimate, like, what, like, 700 at most, I think? Oh, it's like an AP misfortune? That's new to me. Why on earth would you go AP misfortune? An arcane comet? Realize scepter? Well, yeah, that, pretty, that works, but... Um... We can go for one more. So I think that's just going to be a... Uh, but we can kind of build whatever we like at this point. I'll go for Death Sense. I love the idea of Rely Scepter on Misfortune with Arcane Comet. <laughs> it sounds super troll, but it sounds pretty fun. <laughs> AP misfortune. <laughs> it's not it's definitely not something that would come in my mind though. Wow. Wait, that's like one ability. <laughs> that actually does quite a bit of damage. Oh, I messed up. Okay. Cool. Let's go for a hey, just a chumbo down here. Well, we can chase him. Cause he is on a long cooldown. <laughs> oh, he's flashing away. Clean. Well, to me, this game is over. Like, they can't ever kill me anymore, because... I'm literally, like, four to five levels ahead of the enemy team right now, so... Yeah, the ultimate from Misfortune doesn't do that much damage, so it's purely just Misfortune's E, which does damage, as far as we can see. I believe that her E even does more damage than her ultimate, I think. Uh, let's kill this. Let's get this tower down for it. Wait, they are going through this. T <laughs> they are going through this portal. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna. Some, um, it's not something I would want to try because I think I would probably die. So yeah, let's go back here. So next objective right now is a Baron, and then after Baron, it's just gonna be pushing mid, and then that will be the game. Let's get it. Oh, portals. <laughs> Man, guys, I can't tell you enough, man. Like, 
every single time I see those portals, it makes me think how broken this game is. Because one portal literally teleports you across the map and you take the next portal and you're like on the opposite on the opposite map in like five seconds or so. Princess, I literally take this portal right now. Oh. I take this portal, I'm literally down here, then I can just jump down here. I, you can just travel like an entire map in like five seconds. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Aww. No, that's not happening. Nice. Hey, yep. And okay, this is where the game ends. Yep, either way, this is Riven Top Lane. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you in the next time.